Okay. So we've had our preventer set up for about four weeks now and we're ready to uh, do the monthly maintenance. So for that, uh, gloves aren't necessary, but they're always a, a good idea. If you don't have any handy, uh -huh, um, then you can just make sure you wash your hands well after. We're not dealing with any chemicals, but there are pheromone lures. So if you don't wash your hands, you may have mosquitoes drawn to you for the rest of the day. So we've got our preventer. It's set up in uh, a shaded area that's covered by vegetation in a spot where mosquitoes like to be. So we've got leaf litter, we've got some thicker vegetation, and we're in an area where we're not immediately going to be hanging out. We've got, you know, dogs that like to hang out not far away sometimes, uh, but this is, you know, ideal placement for it. So we'll grab our preventer in a second. The other supplies that we need are some water to replace, a refill kit, a baggie to put the old lure in, a remote and some batteries. Now we're not changing the batteries in this one today because we can keep a close eye on this. We're going to wait until the batteries run out. If it's something that you're not able to visit frequently, if you're only at the cottage every weekend or if we're doing the maintenance and we're only there once a month, then replacing the batteries would be wise. But here, because we can keep an eye on it daily, we don't need to do that quite yet. So I'm going to go get it. first thing we want to do is empty all the water to the bottom. So if we press power on the remote and just make sure that it's working, we can then press the water droplet with the minus sign on it and that will drain the water out. It should, oh I'm on the wrong side. Hmm. Well, we, we've done a system check here and things seem to be okay. So we'll try a cycle. Maybe we do need to change the batteries. Hmm. I saw it too late last night. Yeah but they may be getting low. So we do have some mosquitoes in this area, which makes sense because we're luring them here with this stuff. So, we'll try changing it out and we'll uh, see what happens once we do that. So we're gonna take the batteries out first. We don't wanna get any water on them, so we're gonna put them off to the side somewhere. Now when we empty the water out of here, we're going to have lure left over in it. It, it. You know, it's past its prime, but there could still be some there. So we're going to put the landing strips into our baggie. And then we can just take the top off and we suggest emptying the water in an area right beside the preventer and where it's not going to pool. If it pools and it's got that lure in it, then you're creating other habitat for them and we don't wanna do that. So we're just going to distribute it to dry ground right near where we've got our preventer set up and that way it won't be so much competition. So this may not be pretty. Oh, there you go, that's not bad. Okay, and then we can place this on its side. We wanna make sure we get the accelerator out. That is what could complicate things. And we want to put that in a baggie and seal it up. Because there could still be pheromone lure left in there, if you just toss this in your garbage, you're going to attract mosquitoes to your garbage. So we got to be thinking about these things. So just distribute again where it will dry up. Okay, now we're ready to start new. So the accelerator that we put in there has to sit for 15 minutes before it's good to go. So the first thing we'll do <laughs> is fill up our water. Not be lazy, take the duct tape right off. And we'll just fill it to the max line on the window. Calculations. 
weight's about four liters, um, but we haven't actually measured it, so that is just an estimation. So now I think it's eight liters. Eight liters? I think so. How much is in here? Sixteen. This was full, and it was fifteen. So yeah, it is about eight liters. Ray's right, as usual. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> so we'll take our mosquito accelerator out of our refill kit. Just looks like a little tea bag, and you just dunk it in there. That sits for 15 minutes and does its thing. So now we can replace our filter. So Ray's unscrewing the old filter. That can just go in the garbage. And we can't see the actual filter to count the eggs, which is I would like to do a that. bummer because we want to nerd out about it. But we'll break it open tonight. And doesn't seem like it's easy to do. do it. Uh, so that's the filter changed. Now we can put the lid back on. And we're just going to line it up. Line it up. Okay. We're gonna replace our landing strips and then we'll determine if we need to replace our batteries or not. So the landing strips also come in the refill kit. So you just Rip that open. This is great to do on a calm day because then you don't have garbage blown everywhere. These landing strips are a little weird. So they have the two tabs and then they have a little bit of sticky tape on the, the back. And the tabs correlate with some tabs on the top of our preventer. So we're just gonna peel the sticky tape off, stick those tabs in, and that's how they get installed. So. Peel off that backing, find the tabs, line it up, and stick her on. The 15 minute countdown is now on. Uh, we'll get our batteries. It was six and a half minutes. Okay, great, thanks. So smart. Okay, so we don't have to change our batteries. Uh, we can still just make sure things are working fine by taking out one. Okay, and if we were changing them all, obviously, we would take out all of them, then line them all back up and put them back in. When you put the battery pack in, there's a black tab on the batteries that lines up with a little indent and a circle. So there's a dot on each part here, dot here, and a dot here. That just tells you how it lines up. Okay, it won't fit if you put it in the wrong way. It doesn't, doesn't work, it doesn't jive. So. And just line up those dots and you should be good to go. So now we'll grab our remote and we'll see what this says. To cue it up after you've taken the batteries out, you wanna press power five times. Once that happens, you should get, <coughs> zoom tight, a flashing light. And that allows you to set the clock, which we don't know what time it is, do we? No. We're gonna pause the video 